<laughs> we have plenty of showers out there for the, the more natural fountain effect as we get these uh, steadier rains right over Pittsburgh right now. That's where it's coming down a little better. You can see that by the yellow showing up on the radar. So up towards Ross, towards McCandless, and then as you go uh, into areas like North Fayette, you get those steadier showers there. So pretty uh, consistent rainfall around. Most of it's light, but you get these little batches. Toby up to Clintonville, back to Finley and to Hermitage. That's where we see another little steady band of rain. But most of this is light, and in between, we're even seeing some drizzle and fog. So it's not going to be a pretty evening or a pretty night in any way, shape, or form. 60, Pittsburgh. Down south, you get those temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, even 70 degrees. Looking into Morgantown, mid 50s as you go up to the north. So there's some warmer air trying to lift in here. It's not doing a real good job getting too far to the north, though. And you can see that fog trying to show up on the uh, camera as we look off of Gateway Center. 60 degrees with that very light rain, some drizzle and fog at the airport. Humidity 96% and that dew points all the way up to 59. So we're pretty close to what we would call saturation where the air can't hold on to any more moisture. So if it's not raining, you're likely going to start to see some fog setting up, especially into tonight. So these showers continue to push in. We're pretty consistent with the rain right now. There's going to be a little bit of a break, but there's more back beyond this. And this is going to come in from Indiana and Illinois and move right through town. And as this low gets here, winds are going to pick up. Tomorrow's going to be a pretty gusty day with some of those wind gusts near 30 miles per hour. And this comes with plenty of rain showers wrapping around it, especially for the first half of the day. Once we get to lunchtime, I think a lot of the moisture is off to the east. However, there's going to be some spotty showers left behind the cold front. So even though temperatures are going to be dropping, could have a spotty shower. But the most consistent, steadiest rain will be earlier in the day. High pressure takes over for the start of the weekend. Saturday looks cool, but pretty good. Now high pressure moves out and Saturday night into Sunday. We see this little quick disturbance zip through, and that's going to provide us with a little more rain shower activity into early Sunday. So the trend for temperatures is for a chill this weekend. Mid 50s, about 10 degrees below average. Temperatures do warm back into the mid 70s as we head into next week. So the warmer air is there, just not this weekend. 55, mostly cloudy with that scattered rain tonight. Tomorrow, more rain could get some thunder too, especially as that cold front's getting closer around lunchtime. 63 for your high temperature there. And then the temps are going to start to fall off into the afternoon. And again, it's going to be a little on the gusty side with some of those winds around 30 miles per hour for gusts. Now, Saturday, partly cloudy skies. Decent looking day there, just a little cooler than you would expect for this time of year. Sunday, some early showers. Second half of the day looking pretty good and most of Monday looking pretty good. However, late Monday, we see rain showers return to the area. Temperatures do build up Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, back to the low to mid 70s. So we're going to warm it right back up next week with several chances of rain and a perfect opportunity to use the interactive radar on the KDK weather app. You can also use those hourly forecasts and alerts. They're free. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.